A strong blast of winter weather is sweeping across the state. It's bringing with it snow, rain and thunderstorms. Even this landspout tornado northeast of Metro Denver. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Jessica Porter and I'm Shannon Ogden. Glad you're with us tonight. We have team coverage for you. Colette Bordelon is out in Castle Rock. She's keeping an eye on I-25 tonight. We're going to begin inside, though, with our chief meteorologist, Mike Nelson. Nice to be inside on a night like this. This is the view from the top of our roof here at Denver 7. That is Spear Boulevard glistening with the rain coming down. We've had about a half an inch here at our studios. Temperatures are warm enough that it's all been rain at lower elevations. If we were 10 degrees colder, we'd be in the midst of a real tree breaking storm, but it's coming down wet and not white, at least for elevations that are below about 7,500 feet. The mountains still have their share of winter storm warnings in effect overnight tonight and just plenty of precipitation showing up. It's been swirling back toward the foothills, drying out a little bit now over parts of Aurora and out toward DIA. And you can see where that rain to snow changes over over parts of Jefferson County down into Douglas County and certainly up into Gilpin and Clear Creek. It's all snow that'll slowly drop a little bit farther down to lower elevations, but the Metro will mainly see wet conditions overnight tonight. The rainfall is decreasing. It'll mix with some snow overnight. The heaviest precipitation is going to slip down to the south. Wonderful news for Pueblo and Colorado Springs and southeastern Colorado. They're still in drought conditions there, so it's great springtime moisture and there's more on the way in the seven day, but let's focus on the task at hand tonight's conditions and early tomorrow morning. For more details on what's happening down to our south, we will head down to Colette Bordelon and see what's happening down in Douglas County with this storm where they've had a lot of moisture throughout the evening. Denver areas mostly going to see it diminish tonight, but uh, we'll get a little bit more coming up later this week. A lightning strike in Arvada responsible for a hole in this house started a fire on the roof as well. Now firefighters put it out quickly and no injuries were reported there. Jefferson County Mountain Schools are closed tomorrow due to the snowfall. The district cites poor road conditions. Shared bus routes will also be impacted. Denver 7's Colette Bordelon out monitoring conditions tonight. Colette, it looks uh, looks a little wet there on I-25. Saturated. It's it's definitely a little bit wet. Not the worst roads we've ever seen, of course, in this crazy state we live in. But guys, we're instantly on the road cam because you can kind of see it on our windshield there. We're finally getting some batter, what looks like some kind of snow slush mix out there. It's what we've been anticipating all night long throughout this rainy, rainy afternoon. We've been out here since the early afternoon. It's been gray. The roads have been wet. Not a whole lot of people out and about. Of course, many staying inside. That's what I plan on doing for the rest of my evening once I get home because it is chilly out there too. So this drop in temperature clearly creating what Mike has been warning us about all evening long. This April snowstorm that we're seeing in the mountains coming on down here to the front range. And right now this is 25 north. We just left Castle Rock, so we are headed back to the Denver area to see what that looks like tonight. And we'll have another live look for that later on in our show. All right, thank you, Colette. Be safe out there. Well, you can get the latest weather on your t uh, on your time with the Denver 7 News app. You'll get weather updates sent right to your phone. The Denver 7 app is available for download in the Apple App Store and on Google Play.